In this first example, we're going to merge in a file. So this file could be an engineering change or an overlay. So we're going to just overlay this part. And then with the compare function under analysis, I can compare it in two different ways. I can compare it with a fast compare, which allows me to compare it between a body or a face, where I select one or the other, or both. And in this case, the fast compare, I can see the two different colors and the differences. And with accurate, I can control how my scaling is. Right now I have it set to a evenly spaced compare, so I can see my positive and my negative angles based off these colors, and it tells me the differences between those. For my second example, I'm going to take the same concept, except this is a more intricate part. So I'm going to merge in a modified part that could be an overlay from a customer. I'm going to place it in the same location, which chances are it usually should be placed in that same location. I'm going to do both a fast compare and a accurate compare just to see the difference. So I pick one body first, then I'm going to hold the shift key to do overlapping elements, and I'll select the second body. So if I do a quick compare or a fast compare, it will show me the differences between the parts. So one body is going to be one color and the other body is going to be another color. So you can see the difference between the blends between one body and the other body. And same over here. So you can see how we can compare the differences between them just by looking at the part. Now we're going to go into an accurate compare which again we can change these functions so basically I just wait for it to do the processing and it will show an accurate compare to show the difference in the spacing between my different parts so this will allow me to be able to tell what I need to weld based off of the positive or the negative distances shown with the accurate command